So I think the best thing I did to train for the Dragon's Back is just spending as much time as I could uh, on the course and out in Wales on recce weekends. I was quite lucky to have a, a good group of friends who were also taking part in the race. So we spent loads of weekends um, uh, on the course as much as we could. Um, and it just felt like a lot of fun and a good excuse to be out in the mountains as much as possible. Um, I think recce's are probably the best thing that I did. It doesn't just help navigationally, so you don't have to concentrate on where you're going so much during the course, but also that um, it really helps mentally because you know there's a hill coming up so you can eat something or when it's getting a little bit tough, you start looking forward to places that you've been before. So, oh, this is this part where we ate our sandwiches or where we sang that song or where so-and-so fell over and you start looking forward to those little memories and those little um, sections of the course that you have something fond attached to. Um, also, a couple of my recce's were done in absolutely horrendous weather. So day four in Storm Hannah was, I think, harder than day four on the day, even though my legs were obviously a lot more tired. Um, uh, doing back-to-back -back days as well, um, just getting sorted with things to eat, looking after your feet, looking after your body and your kit so that you, you know that you can just keep going day after day, um, rather than you know that being a little bit of a shock to the system. I think being quite scared about the prospect of Dragon's Back really helped with my training. Um, I really dedicated most of the previous year to my training um, and in that way I think that really, that really helped and although I maybe didn't need to worry quite as much as I did, I think it really kicked me into doing quite a lot of, quite a lot of specific training. Um, so in that sense, although I didn't really know what to expect from doing such long days, and actually at the time I'd never ran quite as far as day three or day four. Um, so I think in that way, it sort of surprised me um, that my body coped a little bit better than I was expecting it to, possibly due to the amount of fear um, that kind of helped drive my, my training. Um, so I'm pleased that I was relatively well prepared, I suppose.